Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here, and it's vlog time, and there's a light in my face. Ass? Okay, so, um, you stupid light. Uh, for the beginning of this vlog, I'm going to be showing off the really cool shirts I just got from, uh, the Shirt Zor store, who are made by the awesome Ryokua. Um, I'm expecting some packages this week, and the second part of the vlog will likely include one of those. Um, if it doesn't, then I'll film something at the end of the week explaining that they're not here and just going over brief updates. But I wanted to show this off for the first part. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll just tell you what might be in the next part. So, um, I got one, this is it, two shirts, and then, like, the, the sports shirt and the track pants, and then this cool hoodie, which I guess I'll show off first. I got the cool Geki Ranger hoodie in purple to be all Geki Violet. It's got the scratch logo here, and then it's got a badass big scratch logo on the back. I don't know if you can see it, because check out the back. But no, I'm not gay. Anyway. So first, uh, probably my favorite of the, the bunch is my Gosei Knight shirt, because Gosei Knight is the shit. It's got, like, ground neon header's face on the front, like, uh, like Gosei Knight, you know, when he's transformed. And on the back, it says, Knight Dick Power. Isn't that just, oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to wear that around and confuse people. Like, what's that from? And then here, we got the Shinken Red shirt. It's, uh, it's got his uh, helmet on that says Shinken Red, Shiba Takaru. And then, check out the back. And I have to wear this to represent, to show people that he is the real shit, not this Jaden douche and his zombie ways of being from the Wax Museum. Okay, and then so here is the sports performance t-shirt. It's all cool and white and gray, and it's got the Scratch logo here and on the back. So I'll look like some kind of weird, like, in-training superhero Scratch person when I'm running. Or jogging, I guess, rather. Which is awesome. Tag is still on here. And then here are the pants. It feel weird showing pants on camera, but they're just basically black. And then you got the Scratch logo here. So I'm going to be all suited up. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'll just run around just jogging and be like, Zoza! So yeah, those are really cool. Definitely check out Shirt Zors. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. And you can also click on it by going to the store on RidersRangersRambles.com. So there will more than likely be a second part, which you will either see um, a package from Oki, with Cyclone Axle Extreme and Rising Titan, or you'll see an HLJ box with Ra Torata. So I will see you then. Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with part two of the vlog, and I totally forgot to turn my computer off, um, or monitor. So I did get some packages, and in one in a pretty awesome way. Um, I'll go over the packages and some updates. There may be a few things that I might have repeated myself from the first part, but oh well. Um, I guess we'll go over updates first. Uh, I know I did the shirts in the last vlog. I don't remember whether I mentioned it or not, but the Ramboards have launched the official message boards for Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. So come check us out there and sign up. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of awesome features over there and awesome discussions like about the podcast and about Tiger and Bunny. And apparently My Little Pony's cool. I don't know. But uh, come check out the Ramboards. I'll post a link in the description. So that has launched. Um... Is there any other announcements? Let's see. That might be the only announcement. I don't know. Except for in I guess incoming stuff that I bought is after the vlog. Oh yeah, I wanted to give some quick shout outs to some people. Uh, these are the, well, these first people I'm giving shout outs to are the people that have stuff requested. Just because a lot of them have been waiting a long time, and I just want to appreciate your patience and thank you for requesting. I promise they will get done at some point. I'm not sure when. I'm gonna try my best to get it filmed in May sometime. Um, because that's probably, like, the most time I'm gonna have, because it's starting in June, like, a lot of stuff starts hitting. But, uh, they'll probably get filmed sometime, uh, in May. I'm not sure when they'll get put up, but they'll get put up. Um, it just, every time I finish, uh, the current new toys, more new toys come out, and it's just really hard to keep up with requests, uh, as of late. But I apologize, so, these are the people I have down on my official list right now. There is probably, I think, two-ish people that I have down for requests that I forgot to add to the official list, but, uh, uh, thank you to you, too. But so on this list, I have Mega Danan for the Isis Megazord. I appreciate your patience on that one. Uh, my good buddy Spider Vic for the Ranger Changers. Um, I spoke to him about that. Uh, the face plates that I have for, uh, the Changer, they got lost when I was moving my room around, so I still haven't found them, but when I do, I will film that. Uh, Gose Red 22, the Magifone. And the recent one from Gokaiju Geek is the 5 inch Jungle Fury figures back there. So I promise those will get filmed. I just have to find time and I appreciate your patience. So my next shout out is to my friend Rider Zero, who I just uh, wanted to kind of plug him 
uh, to his channel because he's trying to get more subscribers and stuff for revenue sharing and just trying to, you know, gain a name and everything. So check my Buddy Rider Zero out. If I forget to link it right here, there'll be a link in the description to his channel. So check out his videos. You know, if you follow myself and my other dimwitted cohorts, the Shukun Shinobi and Jedi Mon, you should be following Rider Zero because he is also a fellow dimwitted cohort. I say that with love. Heart. So anyway, I got two packages. I got one from the Oki, the coolest middleman ever, and one from Mandrake. Uh, which is kind of a surprise to some people, except for people that aren't surprised. So I'll open the Oki one first. Uh, what's cool about this package is that my postman is the coolest guy ever. And that's probably what the vlog's going to be titled, because this package came to my door, and uh, I missed it. But I had no idea that it was sent style registered, so I didn't know I needed a signature. Um, so I was all mad. And then a couple hours later, my postman came around... And he brought this back to me thinking that maybe I'd be home now. So that's really cool that he did that. I remember he did that once or twice before. So that's really cool is that he comes back around to see if I'm home. Because he knows, you know, about my collection and everything. So I uh, give a shout out to my awesome postman for bringing this open package back. So this makes me happy. Because otherwise I was going to wait until I got it uh, to film this vlog. So... What is in this package is newspaper. I'm just I decided to put all my other collecting and just collect newspaper. No, I'm kidding. So yeah, newspaper, newspaper. Okay. So on the top right here is the Televi magazine with the Gose I mean Gose Red, uh, the Aqua Ranger key. So cool. Got a Japanese magazine to flip through and another Ranger key to play with. And then here we have two shiny exclusives. We have Kuga. Rising Titan, which apparently is very fat worthy. And we have um, Kamen Rider Double Cycle and Axel Extreme, otherwise known as Kamen Rider Italy. I know, I know, he's kind of a waste, but, you know, all double figure arts ever. Oh my god, he stole the paper from Burmese Mountain Dog. Alright, let me pull this paper away. And I'll just open up the figure arts quickly to show them off. So I got, I got, a, little, I got a little time. And I, I kind of want to see him. There's no fancy unboxing here, because my unboxing ninja is studying for finals. His ninja finals, yeah, to become a super ninja. All the boxes all purpley and cool. I forgot that it was all cool design. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, these come in the cool boxes. You're not going to get to see the figure. But he comes in an awesome box. But from what I hear, he is the sex. Um, okay, and now... Oops, I forgot so I to cut this open. We open up. We have this guy. He's pretty black luster, but he's double, so I had to get him. Kamen Rider Italy, Cyclone Axel Extreme. He looks pretty. He's kind of bland. The first ever figure in Kamen Rider to be made out of a character that appeared in a thought bubble for three seconds. And I bought it. That's how stupid I am. Okay. So... Now we have a package from the Mandarik Shop. This was an emergency toy order placed while getting ready to place another emergency toy order, which I haven't placed yet. I saw something I wanted on the Shibuya store and was getting ready to place, a case, to place an order there when I stumbled upon some stuff at the Nakano store, which I wanted and needed, so I went ahead and picked it up. And I'm still putting together that Shibuya order. And this package is already here. Oh god, I'm gonna stab myself. Okay, okay. More newspaper. I'm gonna put this down here. These might all be together in this one bubble wrap. I'm not sure though. I guess I'll find out when I get in here. If not, it's missing something. Are they my are they separated? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's just stop wondering and find out. It's missing one thing, it looks like, but, okay. First off, here, we have, come out, oh, it's so cool. The Super Robot Chogokin Shinkano. Yes, he's so cool. I was originally planning on picking him up, but needed to save money, and then Shuki said that he was super, super awesome, so I went and found a good deal on Mandrake. I got him for about 2,000 yen, which is uh, a good deal off the original price, and the uh, cheese nuts price. So I'm excited to have him. And then also, oh, he's so pretty. And I'm not even talking about the figure, I'm talking about the box. Figure Arts Omnimon. I know it says Omegamon, but I call him Omnimon because Omnimon is the shit. 
His box is so cool. So I got him for a good deal as well. I picked him up for, was it, I think it was 2000, yeah, it was 2000 as well. Uh, let me open him up quick, because it says that he was opened before. Yeah, everything's here. Oh, it fell. Oh, no. It's paper that fell. So everything appears to be here, which is, which is great. That's awesome. What fell? Oh, yeah, this piece of paper. I don't know what this piece of paper is. But, oh, it's the instructions. They fell. So, yeah, I got these for 2,000 yen each. So that's awesome. Um, now, in order to make the order over 5,000... That's weird. I don't know why they would ship it separately, but um, in order to make the order over 5,000, I um, I ordered a SIC Kiwami Tamashi uh, Kamen Rider Negadeno, and I guess they ship it separately, because I, I feel like I remember them having them all in stock. Maybe I'm mistaken, but that's supposed to be in here, so whatever. But so I'm super excited to have these two figures. I've been looking forward to getting them. So expect reviews of these at some point, too. Um, so yeah, that's the new stuff that's gotten here. Now, our favorite part is after talking about all the money I spent that is now here, talk about the money that is coming in. I don't know what I'm saying. I went on some kind of joke about money. Okay, so what's on my way, what's on the way to my house right now is three fig yards. Um, one of which I probably won't film a vlog for because it'll probably get here this weekend or like on Monday. So it won't really be vlog worthy, which is just the Rot to Our Top fig yard from HLJ. So I'll probably just go ahead and open that up and then put a review up when I get a chance. The other two will probably make it into the vlog. Um, also from HLJ, they shipped separately, which is the Sago Zo or the White Buster Beetleborg figure art, and the New Deno figure art. I missed the pre-orders over on uh, Bill Murray's, uh, so I had to order them from HLJ and ship them separately and ensure that I got them. But so those two will make it into the next vlog. So expect those. And also, <clears throat> excuse me, also expect my epic end of April Ami Ami box, but the vlog will be filmed in May. Um, that will include Gao Lion, um, Figma Thrust, Tricere Candroid, and Kiwami Tamashi Kamen Rider Agito. And uh, a couple surprises, which really aren't that noteworthy. They're just little things that I kind of wanted to pick up for fun. I'm uh, not really sure why I did, but I'm still kind of looking forward to them. But. So expect that with. Uh, the uh, two figure arts probably be in one vlog. As for stuff I've recently bought, uh, thanks to my buddy Shukun Shinobi, he got me a Metagabriu pre order for the end of next May. So, or late May, it says. So that'll be here next month. That's why that review's not coming right now, or that toy's not coming right now. Um, I, got, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the last part uh, with the shirts, but I got a Metal Set 4 from CS Toys. So that's on its way also. That potentially will make it in next week's vlog. Um, and I think that's it, just the Metal Set 4 and the Ami Ami box. Uh, I might have an Oki box shipping soon again. Um, but other than that, I got epic pre-orders for, for Gokai Red and uh, Puto Tira and um, Ryuki because epic shopping is fun. So yeah, uh, I think that's about all. Um, just respect, re respect, respect re these reviews, no. Um, expect review of these things. Um, that sounded weird too. Expect reviews for these things. Uh, the schedule, unless something happens, is usually every other day. Occasionally there'll be an upload hiccup or like some kind of scheduling conflict, but every other day is usually the upload schedule, except with vlogs. Uh, this will probably go up on either a Friday or a Saturday and then expect a vlog the next day. So usually uh, expect a vlog and then a review the day after, but otherwise every other day is the review schedule. So anyway, I've bored you long enough. Uh, I'm going to go play with my new toys and have happy fun time. So until next time, check out the epic site at writersrangersrambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible and the crazy podcast. And of course, the brand new epic uh, message boards, the Ram boards. So until next time, it's Dawson Ryder. Signing out.